But I was test driving it and I wish I was lying. I literally ran the car into a toddler. toddler. Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. I've missed you guys. What? Was it hanging on like that for dear life? Jesus Christ. Anyway, today I'm so excited. As you guys can see by the title of the video, I'm gonna go pick up my new car tomorrow. Okay, let's just backtrack, okay? I do have a Tesla sitting in a garage. Like, it's collecting dust. Anthony's taking care of it. Okay, both cities are home. So I've just, I had to get a car. So this is like my fifth car in the span of like five years of my life. But anyway, I'm gonna do my nighttime routine with you guys because I've never done that and I've always been excited to like film it, show you guys what I do. Also, shout out to Nurex for sponsoring today's video. Stay tuned to learn about and Rex later on in the video. I'm going to first shave my little facey. For that, I'm gonna use this rubbing alcohol and just clean up this razor. I'm sorry guys, my nails look awful because like not gel. And I don't wanna get my nails done because I'm actually getting surgery this week or next week. So I have to take my nail polish off, but I just picked up a new car. Fun fact, I actually was test driving this car and you guys, I'm not even kidding. When I was test driving it, this man like let me drive it and he was very sus. I didn't like his vibe at all. Like he was so sus. It's the exact Car, if you guys remember two years ago i had gotten the same car really missed that car i wanted to try it out and let me tell you verdict it sucked simply because like i'm so used to driving a normal sedan like a tesla for like three years now that i can't go back to a two-seater it's too cramped up but i was test driving it and i wish i was lying i literally ran the car into a toddler toddler that bad but i really was horrified i went home and i just cried because like you're test driving and this is the worst way bad omen i get it but like god could you be nicer like you had to be had a tot i had to run over a toddler please i was mortified okay i literally froze like i remember time just stopped for me in the moment but like i'm looking at the footage and i'm like it's not even that crazy like you're being so dramatic but i remember guys i froze um it was like in a parking lot and there's somebody's child was just like running around just like running around running around so i parked quickly by the way i hit my sideburn so i'm gonna take them off and for that i'm gonna use a cerave cream I'll just like raw dog it. Maybe don't be me. The thing is that there were like other workers who were like South Indian men who I could just speak to um, in Tamil and just be like, does anyone know whose child this is? And everyone just like froze and looked at me when this happened, by the way. And just came to me, they were like, hey, it's okay. It's not your fault because the kid has been running around this parking lot for a good minute now. And he just like, the car is so low, you guys. He just like ran and like, I could see his head like, he hit his head, look at me looked away and then just ran away i was like this is embarrassing this is the actual footage of me test driving it and i was just recording myself because i wanted to hear the ac and i just wanted to see how i feel and you know whatever and he comes and he hits his head here that's literally me putting myself in trouble i don't want that on the internet but i froze and then after this my whole mood demeanor just changed and he's still running around by the way i'm like whose child is this you know so i come out and the workers are like it's on your fault like parents are just not like paying attention so it's not on you and i was like okay but like i'm mortified i need to speak to the parents who where is who's the mom i see a lady like whistling or like playing around with the boy and i was like oh are you the mom like i was kind of like angry i was like are you the mom and she's like no i'm not i was like oh okay sorry i was like who's mom where's the parents I'm still hunting for the dad i look around and i see the dad far away in a trolley okay he's bringing his trolley and you can even see in this video like a snippet of the dad he's far away walking to the car so i think he just let his son loose and the son is just like playing around but i go to the dad and i'm like hi are you his dad and the man's like yes hello and then he was very sweet and very kind he's very mellow he's like yeah how are you? What happened? I was like, I'm so sorry, but I was so close to like running your son. I was test driving a car. I was slow, but it was a parking lot. So he's like running around and he just like came and like literally hit his head against my car. And then just, he didn't fall down, but he just like, he just hit his head. I can't explain it, but he just like, and then just looked at me and then just walked away. So I was just like, I'm so sorry. I could have literally killed your son. Like, please, like you should tell your son, like not to run around because like this would have, I would have ended my life if something happened to your son and I'm going off. I'm just like, you know, I'm miserable. Like you can't even, I can't even. Oh, even after I've said this, he's still playing peekaboo behind the father's car. Like he's playing around with his dad's car now. And I'm looking at him like, dude, you literally just literally almost got killed. But anyway, um, the dad like brings him and just like smacks him in front of pu in the public. Like everyone's just staring. When I say public, this sounds like 80,000 people are watching. I'm going to say like seven to six. It was public to me, okay? And just a bunch of people were just like, oh my God, I'm gonna take this off because this is killing me. So yeah, let's actually move on to the sponsor of today's video. It's Norex. So people always ask me what I do for my lashes. Every night I use a eyelash growth serum. I have little to no body hair and I have very skinny brows. Growing my lashes is really, really hard for me. So my secret is using a eyelash growth serum, okay? You absolutely need to incorporate this in your nighttime routine almost every day to see actual tangible results. I use this almost every night. So I'm gonna use a spoolie but you can use any spoolie.
carefully. Just make sure you sanitize it and let it air dry for a few minutes. Once that's done, you're gonna take a little eyelash growth serum and you just put a few drops. Make sure you're just not touching the tip to the bristles, you know? So I know there are plenty of eyelash serums in the market, but the thing about Nurex is that it offers the only FDA approved serum for eyelash growth and it's clinically proven to deliver results. So you apply this eyelash growth serum all the way from the roots to the tip of your lashes and prescription strength eyelash growth serums are more effective than what you can get in stores. So don't waste your time on like getting over counter products. Just instead, just get this clinically tested and proven eyelash growth serum from Nurex. I'm actually over falsies and fake lashes. Like that's not me anymore. It, it was an era. I'm, I'm done with that. With your prescription, you'll have like a full year of unlimited on-demand access to Nurex's medical team. So you can message them anytime if you have any questions. Using an eyelash growth serum is easy and hassle-free. Just apply the serum to your upper eyelids every night using a special applicator for each eye, which is included with your prescription delivery, by the way. But I just have a spoolie for myself that I always use for my lashes. In just like 16 weeks, you can have 25% longer, fuller, and 18% darker lashes. And some eyelash growth serum users see visible results as quickly as two months. So that's pretty much my eyelash growth serum routine. But yeah, shout out to Nurex for sponsoring today's video. I'm such a big fan. I've actually used them before when I was living in LA. To get started, go to nurex.com slash twinkle. That's N-U-R-X.com slash A-N-N-C-Y-T-W-I-N-K-L-E. Um, he got smacked and then he's just like crying, but I feel like I personally don't want that, but like, but I believe in like your parents, you just smack you sometimes, then you're just like, oh, I'm never gonna do this again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope he's like super humiliated that he never runs around again in the roads. Like this was a highway and this is like a little service road, just running around like this. I've gotten a good amount of like naughty beatings, you could say, or pillows thrown into my face that I've never repeated those behaviors again. People might agree or disagree, but I was just so glad. Like, I was like, this will be a life lesson. He will never ever forget. He should never run around like this again. And the wife, the mom was in there, duh. Like, no, for a fact, if there's a lady, she wouldn't just let her child run around, but he was with his dad. So I'm not even gonna comment on that, but that's just how dads are, I guess. Um, I would have literally been in jail right now if I killed him. Like what, guys, just imagine the worst of the worst. I was freaking out. I was going home just like yapping. And my mom's like, relax, it's not that bad. I'm like, it was bad. You you don't even know. I could hear dung in like the fucking car. Like, please. So I could have literally killed him. I could be in jail and none of you would just get YouTube videos. So listen, we all lose, okay, if this didn't happen. So he got his little smacky smack and he was just sobbing. And I felt bad at the moment, but I'm just like, I prefer you getting smacked and learning your lesson than getting run over by a car. Hello. So yeah, that was done. But the dad was just like, don't worry about it. Like he's always been a naughty kid, but thank you for like, you know, um, being mindful when you drive because I'm a very, very good driver. Trust me, I, my mom was saying this too. I was just like, anybody else would have just like ran on through. But when I was test driving, I saw him come, I had to do the fattest break and honk. I'm such a good driver, like, but I had enough time to break and honk and look at him like slow. So yeah, um, I didn't hit the toddler. He came and he hit his head on my car, just letting you know, but that like, I couldn't go out for a week. I was just terrified of cars and driving. But anyway, I'm back. I'm gonna use this Color Wow um, hair straightener that I get from Sephora. It's really nice. It makes your hair super straight and sleek. Mm, but yeah, pretty much that was just a scary story time. I decided not to get that car and just like stick to my gut feeling and just get myself a different car. I was just like, I'm, I'm done. You know what I mean? That's when I decided to get this new car. You're gonna see in a second. I'm gonna surprise all my friends. Um, you guys, I've been in Dubai for what, seven months now and I'm miserable because I keep using Uber or taxi or use my dad's car and it's just like, it wasn't working out. I used to rent and the two times I rented in Dubai, I got into such issues with them. I had to literally open up lawsuits for them to give me my deposit back. One time the first company was like, she peed in the car so we are not gonna give her the refund. I'm like, how did I pee in the car if I'm the one driving in the front seat? He's like somebody pissed in like the back seats, right? I was like, who, who? Um, it was a mini Yaris like Toyota car that I like the cheapest car that I could rent and they fully put it on me. They were like, you definitely peed or somebody else peed in the back seat, so we're not gonna give you the security. I'm like, show me the stains, pictures, nothing, no response. Second person too, I had to threaten them with cops. But yeah, I've been fighting for my money in LA. I fought for it for so long. That is why I decided just to get myself a car. And when I'm traveling or when I'm heading back, I'm gonna give this car to my dad. I think he deserves it. He loves Mercedes and he's always like, I need to get a new car. And I was like, you know what, dad? Once I leave, this car is yours. To end the night, I'm just gonna use the Wii occlusive moisturizer. It's an intense moisturizer, it's like a mask. This is a lot. But I just had it in. I need the moisturizer. The heat in Dubai is insane. Do that. And I think this is my last video that you guys are gonna see for a second. I do have a tonsillectomy. I'm super excited for you guys to see my car. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I'm so excited.
driving to go surprise Lubaba, Hind, no, Laylee, and then Hind. Booked every single friend. Like I have to book my friends a slot, if you will, with each friend because we're all busy, we're all adults, and that's okay, okay? I care about my friendships. I put a lot of effort into seeing all of them every week. This is your prime age where you do lose your friendship, so just letting you know. My car is right there, as you can tell, and she's right here. I'm a surprise or whatever. I have something for you. Oh my god, I love your fit. Okay, come, sweetie. Do I leave my car running? No, yeah, keep it running. What do you think this is gonna be? My new car. Okay, I saw this. I was like, wait, but you, this is not what you No way, like when I came. What do you think? I got it literally yesterday. The interior is unreal. Go, go take a seat. <laughs> I'm still so new. There's a lot that I just don't know. And it's convertible, duh. I got my car like six months ago. I still don't know so many. It's so fucking spacious at the back because usually with convertibles, yeah. it's horrible. There's no space in the back. Congratulations. Thanks, baby. I, this is how you turn it down. I'm doing it for the first time. Yeah, it's fine. I don't even know how this works. It's like, like Mer there's a lot of options with Mercedes. He's like, Joe, once you drive a Merc, there's no going back. Really? It's low. Even my mom sat, she's like, this is better than the 370 shitty coupe, remember? Okay, let's go. Girls, where are we going? I know, fuck, <laughs> it's so... It's fucking I'm hot. boiling. Is this like the worst time to get a convertible? I don't know when to stop. Do I stop now? Okay, you ready? This is beautiful. Why did you do that, Dona? Put it back up. Why? You don't want it? It's so hot. Yeah, so this the way this works is put it on brake. Mm -hmm. And then see the D here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, we want me to just drive in front? <laughs> <laughs> Two, the blind leading the blind. <laughs> I, tell me how the smooth the drive is. It is. It's Smooth, bro. How unreal. The Fucking guy, sexy. Yeah, just go in there. So, like, you're a park or you're a dumbo. Just go here, bitch. Can't trust your dumbass. If you have something, struggle. No, it's okay. Yeah, you got it. Now you have to wait, 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 wait. Damn, I've never heard the beep. Lubaba <laughs> parts, it starts beeping, the alarm starts going off. Wait, hold on. But beautiful girl. Oh, tell me. Good fucking girl. Hi. Oh, Harmon Carden, good ear, good speakers as well. Guys, look no, at my little the Barbie. The most important thing you need to keep in mind is that this is fine. As long as this is okay, everything else is fine. If you watched it, even Antonin was like, Hi, I miss you, Timo. How are you, Timo? How's your good day, Timo? <laughs> that was the ad. Okay. Uh, where Timo, they gave me a fucking list and I have to keep saying, This Timo, is Timo, 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 Timo. Timo. Okay. So that was the money that I made and that's why I got this car. I need all your information guys all of us be driving mark i need your garage details your car i need Lely's fucking tips i need everything it's so confusing what the fuck too. is this my car still doesn't have a tint but it's so nice it's to drive so without it it is because so i can't see bro that's why i'm so scared you know like at night and stuff i don't know how am i gonna drive without a tint like that's what i'm so confused no no about. i will say night you're getting because I have. You think can I can I get those cutouts? Please don't. That brings your car value by seventy percent. Um, I hate being at car places. I'm just a girl, bro. I hate it. So, um, and you know yeah, what? I, I knew. That's why I haven't got it done. I keep telling my dad to do it. Like, yeah, like, dad, okay. cousin. Guess what? My tank was zero when I purchased the car yesterday. I petrol station, so they're putting gas into my car. So this guy comes in. I'm like, hey, I just I never be honest or vulnerable with the you know car guys. I was like, hey, I just got my car. I'm so sorry. I don't know where the tank is. Like, I don't know how to press it. Open. There's too many buttons. He's like, don't worry, it's automatic. He pushes it open. He puts the gas in. But I told him this is my new car, and I don't know. Any Anything. He comes to me, he's like, do you want an injector yeah. for the fuel booster? Oh my god! Bro, and you know the way these fuckers do it is so convincing. A few months ago, I'm with my mom. I just went into the petrol pickup, like an energy drink or something. So I go and as I'm going, I'm like, special food, please. Then he turns around, he's like, madam, your petrol tank is very dirty. You need to clean it, otherwise the petrol, like the car drinks <laughs> more. <laughs> The car drinks more fuel, okay? So I'm just like, okay, I guess. Like, what? Bro, usually it costs me like whatever, okay? And then he charges me another 90 bucks for it. And I'm just like, yeah, you're what actually, is that for? You're the perfect then victim. I, bro, too. I call my dad and he's like, Banadi <laughs> and you are the perfect victim. Literally, if I, I was you. working, I used to work at the gas station. I was selling those tickets at uh, the Zoom supermarket. If I was working, I would come for you. You look like the kind who doesn't know what the fuck you're doing with your of car. Of course I don't. I'm, I'm, and I'm after I you. Drive it, I park it. I drive it back. I park it. No, she doesn't, she doesn't just park it. She has to go in and out like seven times. Y'all are the car beep. I'm good at driving and parking, but car stuff, I don't know. Lily does. But yeah, they really take advantage of us, bro. But yeah, we have to get Next, better at it. Why do we need to know about cars? Because you're driving it. My biggest okay, fear is like... Just know how to drive it and park it. Just know how to, like when you need to like indicate and check <laughs> the fucking lane. Babe, we went through this when I was at A 
18, you guys. I'm 10 years I've driven. I've known her for that long. This bitch never got a license. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the thing, too. She's never, like, that's the thing. She just got a license. How, like, a year in, you're in, right? It's been a year now. One year ago, I was taking my tests. So how, like, been like did you get your test months. the first try? Second try. Second try. Second is still good. Dude, I knew people who had seven, eight. My brother, Bro, my dad. my carpenter, 16 times. Who cares about your car? I'm the same. <laughs> No, I know girls. Do you know anyone who fucking yeah. tried 16 times? Yes, the girl that I, I got it the first time. I was sitting here, two girls behind me. One of them was like, haha, you're not gonna get it the right way. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, she got it eight times and this is her 16 time. I'm like, great, I'm f the worst negative energy. But I got it the first try. I was just confident. You just have to okay, okay, we get it. You got your driver's license first time. First try. And I've been here. I got it on accent right after, but it doesn't matter. We're girls, girls doing girl stuff. I love girl bossing. <laughs> this is for all my ladies. Go girl boss. Dump don't your get man. Married. The center. Yeah, don't get married. Don't get married. Go make money. Money. Get your money up. Get a pet. Don't <laughs> sponsor them on Timu. Sponsor <laughs> Timu. Put them on a pink ad for an uncomfortable outfit and then buy a car. Period. Okay, love you guys. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta fucking see Laylee and Hen. I'm fucking so stuck. So they haven't seen it either, huh? No, you're nice. the first. How does it feel to okay, be the first? Okay, great, great. <laughs> Finally, I'm the first to see something. No way. Auntie's a Mercedes girly. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I love it. Oh, no. This is the nicest car you've ever got. Right. Oh. This no, it's not gonna give you that. Like, I'm gonna have fun. Yeah. You can stay, you can do half whatever you yeah. need to. Yeah, I'll be on the it's okay. I'm not gonna force you, but. It's fine. Um, tell me where, where, like, where I'm going. You're not coming with us? I'm going to Pilates. Oh <laughs> my god. I booked it before. I didn't even know you were coming over. No, it's fine. The place I'm starving. To to, it's not open. I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> I'm hanging there, okay, right so now. there's an Iranian restaurant which is new. I was wondering. So down, please go. <laughs> we never do white people food anyway, so let's Yeah, try. we. <laughs> You sent me this and we're like, we have to go. And I was like, oh, is this my yeah. queen? Yeah. The guy who gave you his thing, is he really a photographer? Or is he oh. one from? Um... He's a bartender as well. We're getting free drinks. Fabulous. There's a lot of photographers here are like, I'm a photographer. No, you only shoot nude models. They'll only yeah. be women and they'll be like, they want you to be naked so then they can shoot you. And they'll be like, male photographer. Because they now we're taking pictures like for content outside. This guy was like, hey, vlogger, YouTube. Are you an influencer? We were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just shut him down. I was like, no, it's nothing crazy. He didn't look like he was ha he had anything on him, but... <gasps> oh! oh. Came all the way. I ran over someone. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought you did. <laughs> Surprising him. This girl's been with me since the college days, and I cannot wait to see her face. So... <laughs> It doesn't matter. Okay, what do you think? Open the door. <laughs> There's oh. not a oh. my shot. <laughs> Stop. And next time I'm drunk, I'm gonna give you this car. You can you'll drive me. No, no, no. Hell no. Why not? Like, not anyone can drive. I don't care. I don't want to touch her Mercedes. Bro, it doesn't matter. Convertible. Oh, we're getting the roof what? down. I'm so dumb. We gotta go stop somewhere. Yeah. New. I don't know where the lights are. Okay, this is. I'm like, where is the button? <laughs> Stop. Even my necklace is be just hanging out. <laughs> okay, so this is how you do it. Like, probably being like, oh, with your tongue with out. Tongue out. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, wait, I'm not ready for this. This is foggy as Damn. fuck. Okay. Right? Yeah, right. Okay. Right, and then. Go. Yeah. Um, okay, P. And then handbrake is on the left. Okay, so Lely is right behind me. We just, oh my God, this view is unreal. But got the hood down. When it's nighttime, you have, if you have a convertible, you have to get the roof down, you know? Okay, this is not Lely. Why is there a minivan behind me? Hello. So Lily's behind me. We plan to go to the kite beach. Oh, <laughs> there's her behind me. <laughs> She's trying to cut. I'm not going to give her away. 